Hello everyone, in this demo I will show you how you can go ahead and import this cookbook with which you can go ahead and convert Microsoft form responses with attachment to PDF in your own environment. The first step would be to go ahead and download the cookbook. Once that you have downloaded the cookbook, you can leave it in the downloads folder. Let's get into the prerequisite. There are a few prerequisites for using this Power Automate cookbook. The first would be the connections. You need to make sure that you have a few connections configured. The first connection that we would need is for Microsoft Forms. The second one is for Mohimbi PDF converter. The third would be for SharePoint. And fourth would be for OneDrive for Business. To go ahead and add a connection, you can just click on Add Connection. You can search for the connector. For example, you can search for Mohimbi and you can click on this button. As soon as you click on this button, if you have the credentials, it will automatically create or else it will ask you to sign up. So this is how you go ahead and create a connection. The second prerequisite is to have a form. So you need a form with at least one attachment control. So let me go ahead and create a form with at least one attachment control. So I'll give my form the name. You can add as many questions, but I'll just add one. Next and most importantly, you need to go ahead and add the attachment control. You can go ahead and add a, a 10 attachments. You can also set up the size. You can also go ahead and set up the file types that are supported. So I'll just go ahead and select few and you can hit preview. So your form is ready. Now you know, need to go back to your Power Automate and click on import and go ahead and upload the package that you have downloaded. So I have uploaded the package out here. It's a zip package. It takes a few seconds and after a few seconds you'll see that it is asking for connections. So you can go ahead and select during import, click on select during import and because you have the connections configured, you can just click on the connections out here. So I have selected the forms connection. Now I'm going to select the Mohimbi connection as well. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and select the SharePoint connection. And once you have done it, also go ahead and upload, create new, just create a new one. So I'll just name it cookbook resource name and then you can click on import. So this again will go ahead and take a few seconds so don't navigate away. Now you, if you see all the connections are being verified you can straight away click on open flow. Now your flow opens in the designer okay the flow designer. You need to go ahead and pass it the list that you need to. So our was attachment demo cookbook and we need to get rid of this body, get rid of this one and get rid of this one. And we need to pass our action or our responses. So first is what is your name? Respond the email should be respond the email and submission time would be submission time. So this looks good. This needs not, this is not needed. Not, no changes needed here. No changes needed here. No changes needed here. You need to go ahead and make sure that you select the library of your choice. I'm going to select my SPS demo library. And I'll go ahead and select the shared documents folder. Similarly out here, you just need to make sure that the connection is there. You can go ahead and check this. This looks good. Everything looks good. I need to go ahead and give it my library name. So I'm doing that. So I'll again go ahead and store it in shared documents. And similarly for this as well, I need to select my library and I'll select shared documents. And most importantly, now comes this condition. I need to make sure that this condition is pointing to the right response. Okay, so just drag it here. Empty. I'll make this empty. I'll just remove the condition altogether and type in empty. And I'll make sure that I pass in the dynamic content 
for my question right yeah question so the question is the array so this is pretty much it I'll go ahead and save it the flow is off so I need to turn it on so that's the first thing I'll again go back to my flow click on manual I'll go back to my attachment demo cookbook form I'll click on preview say Clavin cookbook I'll upload few attachments and I'll click on submit so if now everything would work as expected this should trigger the flow so the flow has triggered so the trigger configuration I assume is correct and our flow failed attachment input at line is required but got null so let me see mm -hmm. so again the parse JSON failed so we need to update the parse JSON as well I need to go ahead and update the body for the parse JSON so this would be questions I'll save it so remember I'm doing this tutorial or a quick tutorial because you might come across the same problems and not editing the things which actually failed because I want you to see how in actual or real life I also face the same scenarios so this time it did not fail so it goes to condition it goes to the merge we go to the shared documents and here you have a document or the form with the attachments merged to it I hope this was informative